Maybe you've heard of quiet quitting. Well, the former CEO of consumer products multinational Unilever is warning companies now of conscious quitting. Now, Paul Pullman says younger employees want to work for companies that match their values and will quit those found lacking. His Net Positive organization has released a survey of workers between 18 and 41 in the US and UK, showing two thirds believe companies aren't doing enough about social challenges. Nearly half said they would consider resigning from a company that doesn't match their values. Paul Pullman is former CEO of the multinational Unilever and now writes about how businesses can positively contribute to society. Paul, thanks for coming on the show. So younger generations want their businesses to make a more positive impact on society. How is that different from past generations of workers? Well, we're seeing a big difference, Stephen. Thanks for the opportunity that um, contrary to many of the uh, studies that are out there about employee satisfaction, talking about flexible work time or the installation of a, a gym or some other facilities, we do see now that the workforce is increasingly concerned about the future of the planet and society. In fact, 75% are rating this as their main concern, equal to actually having a job and earning salary. But curiously, um, uh, increasingly, we also see that they are seeing a gap emerging between what they expect companies to deliver in this area and what they're expecting from these companies and what these companies are actually delivering. And that gap is causing an enormous anxiety. And this is the thing we want to point out to companies because it is a ticking time bomb. Uh, one third of the employees have already consciously quit uh, organizations because their values were not aligned with what they were looking for. Mm. And actually 50% of the current workforce is considering leaving because they don't think the CEO is going fast enough, is ambitious enough, or actually um, implements what they say. So that credibility survey... gap is a big problem. Mm, Paul, at the same time, your survey shows that money is still a primary, if not the primary consideration for employees. Are values just a nice to have when the money is there or do they really compete with money? Oh, Steve, it's the same as anything. When you buy a product, let's say in Unilever, you buy one of our food products, of course it has to taste good and the price has to be competitive. But then all the other criteria kick in and that's the same here. Uh, of course, they want to get paid decently and and have a roof above their head if you want to. But uh, at equal levels are now the concerns for the planet and concerns for the fellow citizens. And actually, they look at the companies in the way that uh, the companies address these challenges. And if the gap is simply too big in this tight labor market, especially for talent, there are many alternative choices. Mm -hmm. So for the CEOs, this is a ticking time bomb. One of the key drivers for change now which we see increasing, increasingly emerging companies are actually the employees themselves. And they are constructive. They also know that uh, whilst ambitions need to increase, they actually mm. want to be better informed and understand what the company is doing, but they also want to be empowered to be part of the solution. So there's a positive lining to the story. Right. But if the companies well, continue to neglect that, the price could be high. Uh, you just mentioned a tight labor market. What happens when that labor market uh, isn't so tight and people, frankly, need jobs and uh, employees, employers have their pick? What happens to those values then? Will they still be maintained? Well, we have seen in many of the countries with the demographics as they are, I'm calling you here from London, 65% uh, of the companies report in London right now that they can't get the talent they're looking for. And the numbers, frankly, are not different in many other places. And it's not only the attraction of employees that we're talking here about, it's actually the motivation uh, of uh, employees. And if they see these companies don't perform or if the gap is becoming too big versus what is being done versus what is being needed, then many of your good employees that you need to succeed in this uh, increasingly challenged world mm. will be looking for options, alternative, uh, uh, looking for alternatives elsewhere. Mm. And that's a ticking time bomb, I believe, for every CEO this issue of conscious quitting that we haven't seen at this level. And as you rightfully pointed out in the beginning, the levels of anxiety in this respect are actually increasing from the general population and the baby boomers to which we belong, mm. uh, to the millennials and even higher in the Gen Zs. 
Paul, one of the largest investors in your former company, Unilever, has complained that it's fixated on purpose and values instead of improving performance. It's not your company anymore, of course, but Unilever's focus on sustainability began really under your watch. What do you say to these claims that this focus on values actually distracts um, from more important bottom line considerations? Well, I think that debate has been laid, laid to rest, and I think a lot of people are re rehearsing old tapes, if you want to. Increasingly, we have the evidence that if companies operate more responsibly, uh, more aggressively attacking the issues of climate change, treating their employees better, having a more diverse workforce, having a stronger purpose of why they are in business, which issues they positively want to address, these companies are more likely to uh, attract the talent have better and more robust relationships in their value chain, better anchored in their communities, being more innovative, and ultimately that is increasingly uh, translating itself into better results. You see it in the financial market equally, where we now have over $80 trillion of money under management, calling for companies to decarbonize portfolios, to be more responsible. We see the ESG investments growing, uh, despite what is happening out there. So that train has left the station. What uh, we should not confuse here is that uh, in, in uh, the, the, the purpose models or the uh, being more sustainable business models itself still require you to operate with discipline, to invest behind your brands, to hire the right people, put the right organizational structure in place. Mm -hmm. and during my tenure in Unilever, which was 10 years, we outperformed our competitors. We had a 300% shareholder return, and every year we had top and bottom line growth. So not only did we become one of the most sustainable companies in the world, we also showed that it was actually in the best interest of the longer term shareholders as well. All right, that's Paul Pullman, former CEO of Unilever. Thank you very much for joining us.